Good evening, everyone. And good morning to everyone from Oceania who's watching right now. Um, the title of my testimony is From the God of My Parents to My God. Uh, my key verse is Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. So my name is Daniel Ho. I come from Brisbane, Australia. I'm 18 years old, and I am a first-year university student. Part one, God was only the God of my parents. I was born and raised in Hong Kong by two UBF shepherds, Michael and Carol Ho. Um, in 2014, our family moved to Brisbane, Australia to pioneer the Queensland University of Technology. In our small house church, I fulfilled church duties, appearing outwardly as a good Christian and making my parents happy. Although I would pray to him in times of need, like for an upcoming test or when I lost a lunchbox, to me, he was just the God of my parents. I did not understand my need for a personal relationship with him. And I think this perception didn't really change until my last year of high school actually second last year of high school, in 2021. One Friday afternoon, I was sent to the principal's office. They showed me my Instagram post that had a derogatory caption about the principal. Because of this offense, I was facing the risk of suspension. I realized that up until this point, I had been leading a double life. On the one hand, I proclaimed to be a good Christian in front of my parents at church, but on the other hand, I was trying to please my friends and classmates to appear relevant, popular, and as normal as I could be. In fact, I was not the good child that my parents always thought that I was. I needed Jesus' forgiveness to repent of my sinful desires and seek him completely. Part two, God is my own God. In early 20, 2022, our house was flooded in the worst flood of the decade in Brisbane. So we were displaced from our homes. And at the same time, our family contracted COVID. While in quarantine, I felt stressed out for the looming deadlines for my two final assessment pieces. Then I opened to daily bread and meditated on God's word. I was reminded of my new key verse, Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. God did not promise me that everything will go well in my life, but when I come to him at first priority, he will enable me to overcome the challenges and provide all that I need to glorify him. In this case, I could only trust that God would give me a speedy recovery and help me overcome my academic challenges. When I truly sought his kingdom first and his word, I was blessed with heavenly peace. In the month or so leading up to my final exams, it was probably the most peaceful time of my life. <laughs> One day, a friend asked me, Daniel, how can you be so happy all the time, especially in exam season? Well, it had nothing to do with how well prepared I was or whatever intelligence I had. When I stopped depending on my weak flesh, but trusted in him completely, God gave me true peace. Over this busy time, I also had my first Bible student, Joshua from Guangzhou UBF. We were studying the Bible together online, and in spite of my hypocritical life in the past, God was willing to use me to glorify him and to feed his sheep. I ended up miraculously graduating with a perfect score. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 was my key verse this year. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. I wanted to trust completely in God's guiding hand and not make decisions according to my own desires. Ultimately, I felt it was God's will for me to remain in Brisbane 
and attend the University of Queensland surrounded by my loving and supportive family. My first semester in university was an exciting time with lots of independence. <laughs> At times I questioned myself how I got here and why I decided to study such mind-numbing mathematics and economics. But through it all, I am reassured that all the academic challenges I encounter are just opportunities for me to personally entrust my life to God. I thank God for giving me a personal motivation to worship Him over these years, because He's not just the God of my parents. He is my God. He is the faithful God that accepted me for my sinful and flawed self through all the different stages of my life. I pray that God may continue to raise me as his disciple and be a source of blessing for my Bible student and to the students of Brisbane. One word, the Lord is my God.